How's it going guys? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and in this video I'm going to be talking about some pretty cool Call of Duty Ghost news that I think you guys will find exciting. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so if you recall the Black Ops 2 campaign, I think it was one of my favorite campaigns. That and the Modern Warfare 2 one uh, were certainly some of my favorites and the World at War. Uh, those were just great campaigns all together. But what was something special about the Black Ops 2 campaign is it gave you kind of like an RPG-esque like choice on how you wanted the ending to go. Now, it wasn't full-fledged RPG where you could decide to uh, do certain tasks or go off the course, etc. But there were little options, uh, you know, throughout the campaign that uh, would alter the course of the the ending of the game so for example there was a mission when you're on like the uh, you know like the private island in like Dubai or whatever it is uh, it's it's the map that plazas on basically you could either save karma which was the lady that Menendez was looking for or you could let her get captured and that would determine how the game would end because karma was able to stop the uh, the virus from spreading or, or allowing the drones to take over basically what Menendez's giant plan was so uh, if you were able to save her you would able to stop the you know virus from taking over the drones etc so uh, that was the whole premise along that there were a few other ones as well uh, probably the biggest one was uh, whether you shot Mason or not like in the head or in the foot obviously if you shot him in the head he died if you shot him in the foot he lived Anyways, a little bit of Call of Duty Ghost News, like I said, I might as well get into the topic. So, Mark Rubin was talking to official PlayStation Magazine where he talked about uh, Ghost having a sort of branching campaign like Black Ops 2, and he denied the fact that this was going to happen. He states, we're doing something a little different. You know, we're obviously two studios and we make different games, so we don't want to just repeat what Treyarch has done. However, he goes on to state, uh, we do have a way where it's almost Easter egg-ish. If you figure out the level, or you can figure out uh, something in the level that you can do, and you can get that to another objective, which will lead to some other part of the mission, and uh, down the line that will allow you to do other things with the campaign. So basically what they're saying is, it's going to be one campaign, and it's going to be one ending, basically. That's what I'm going for. Maybe like one or two endings where you can choose to kill the guy at the end or not. The very typical like good or dark side ending. But what I'm getting out of this is there's going to be Easter eggs that will be required upon you. I'm guessing sort of like Intel, maybe a little bit harder, that will explain backstory onto the campaign or allow you to take a different route to finish this mission, resulting in the same ending but taking a different route. So he also goes on to say, we don't have the same branching system as Treyarch, obviously, but there's basically this way where you are in a mission, you might find something. If you grab it, then something opens up later in a different mission or something happens later in that mission that would, wouldn't have happened if you didn't do them so he's basically saying these easter eggs will will lead you to different scenarios which will lead you to uh i'm assuming a very similar ending so uh still really cool uh because black ops 2 like i said i love the rpg style campaign where you were able to basically control your own destiny you wanted to uh you know if you wanted a really cool ending where you didn't kill woods or excuse me you didn't kill mason and you wanted menendez to be locked up in a jail cell you could do that that's what i really like the campaign in black ops 2 However, the only downside is that is it doesn't really allow for a Black Ops 3 because they would have to if they were to do Black Ops 3 that would take place after Black Ops 2 and since there were six different endings to Black Ops 2, they couldn't really pick off after one campaign because so many people had so many different endings. And that's what I think the guys over at Call of Duty Ghost are going for because they've just started this new series where we might see Call of Duty Ghost 1, 2, and 3. This is the beginning of their new series. They don't want to jeopardize the uh, other two you know, installments by having a campaign that could spray in multiple directions. They'll do one ending, but they're going to make it exciting for you guys as I predator missile fail right there. They're going to make it exciting in a way that allows you to get to that ending in more than one way so um, I really like that as well it's kind of like the Skyrim ending uh, where you could do like other tasks along the way to get to this ending um, so I think it's really exciting uh, it should be really cool only time will tell how this will work out if it's something like a flop but at the end of the day you know as long as the campaign is cool and exciting and keeps me entertained for five to six hours uh, that's something that I really look forward to. One thing I don't want to see from Call of Duty Ghosts is the Strike Force missions that were kind of forced upon us in Black Ops 2. I wasn't a whole fan of that, and hopefully they integrate some better system to making that more smooth and making that a more fun and enjoyable playstyle. But yeah, I mean, like I said, only time will tell. Hopefully the campaign will be fun. If it gives me five or six hours of entertainment, it's a win for me. But anyways, guys, I want to or I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the you know the campaign? How it's going to end? How Mark Rubin sets it up with Easter eggs, etc. So anyways, guys, like I said, be sure to like and subscribe. And I would encourage you guys to like I said, leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.